Hi guys, EVP Man here, and today I'm going to take a look at uh, what is becoming, I would say, a trend in the industry. Uh, you're starting to see more and more uh, speakers that are intelligent speakers that not only connect via Bluetooth, but also connect via Wi-Fi. And this is to give um, in your home a more surround sound experience where you have music coming in from multiple rooms of your house, synchronized playing the same song. So today we're going to take a look at the August WS300G and the WS150G multi-room speaker solution. Let's check them out. Now, as we take a look at both of these products, let's take a look at some of the features, um, and we'll talk about what's the same and what's different. Uh, first of all, as you can see here, and we'll, we'll try to bring one of these into focus right here and zoom in. Uh, these speakers are multi-room speakers, um, and what that means is that you can play the same song or different songs uh, wirelessly or through Bluetooth. Yes, you can use Bluetooth as well uh, with these devices. But given the size of a home, you know, Bluetooth becomes really not functional uh, when it goes beyond 30 feet. So what you could do is connect this solution via your Wi-Fi network and it's going to have the ability to stream uh, directly uh, and you can control. There's a lot of controls here where you can have one in, let's say, your bedroom and one in your kitchen and hear the same music throughout your house. Now keep in mind that both of these speakers are different sizes. So this is a 10 watt and this is a 15 watt speaker. So you're going to get different volumes and a slightly different experience, but they both share that multi-room Wi-Fi experience. Uh, they do have the ability to connect uh, via NFC so you can pair very easily. You do have an audio socket uh, for non-Bluetooth devices and what they're basically saying there is that you have an audio jack that you can plug in. It does have a micro SD reader so you can put a micro SD in there with music on it and it's going to play and you're going to get uh, well over 20 hours of playback with each one of these solutions. Now the cool thing about each one of these solutions as you can see here is that it does support AirPlay, it does support um, Android and once again it has an onboard battery. So you have the ability to run these both uh, plugged in at, at a power source or have them run um, unconnected and then just use uh, again the batteries that are included so they could be stationary in a home or you can take them with you on the go. Now with the speakers you'll find a user guide, you'll find a micro USB uh, charging cable and you'll also have an audio cable. Now the speakers themselves are identical. Um, one is just uh, larger than the other. And just to help you understand the scale, uh, so here I have my hand and you can notice that this is uh, relatively small. And as I compare it to this one, um, this one is obviously uh, much larger. The uh, speakers have the same exact features as them both being multi-room speakers, S exact same look and feel, um, controls, and um, all the outputs that you'll see uh, highlighted here by all these icons but again one is 10 watt one is 15. If we take a look at the smaller one just from a practical perspective you see here you have your speakers you do have a nice constructed metal grill the material that you have on the top is a uh, rubberized material that is satin and soft to the touch you have some controls here that you can see so and these are all multi-function controls um, so you have play pause forward back you have your volume controls and then you have all your icons indicating either NFC, if you're connected via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever may be going on. On the bottom here, you'll see that you do have these rubberized feet. They're going to help keep it in place, but also this is rubberized material here. And then uh, pretty much on the back, what you have here are all of your additional uh, ports or controls. So here you have your power on, your aux in, and then you have um, where you'll be able to charge uh, using the micro USB, as well as you have your uh, micro SD port. As we look at the larger unit, you can see with the larger unit, once again, uh, on the back, you have... Now, additionally, you have a USB. So this is going to be a little bit different where you're going to be able to have a USB uh, with the, instead of a micro USB, uh, a micro SD, you'll have a USB where you can actually connect it to it and then play directly if you have like a memory stick. Now, if we flip this over, you'll notice again, metal speaker grill, larger speakers. Uh, the controls are the same. Forward, back, play, pause and the volume control and then all of your um, controls here indicating what kind of activity is taking place. All in all, you know, very robust. They don't they feel substantial. They don't feel uh, inexpensive in any way. So the next thing we're going to do is look at installing the app. We'll look at some of the specs and we'll see how they sound. Now let's take a look at the specs before we uh, 
go through the demonstration of these speakers. A couple of things that you'll see here. So we have both units that we see here. As I had mentioned earlier, you have a 10 watt and 15 watt version. Um, and you can see that the Wi-Fi band that could be used with these speakers is a 2.4. So that's important for you to keep in mind because if you have a home that has 2.4 and 5 um, gigahertz, you may uh, be connected to the 5. So make sure that you connect that on the 2.4 so you don't have any connection problems. It uses uh, Bluetooth version 2.1. It does have um, multiple uh, Bluetooth profiles, which which is pretty consistent with what you see in the market. It will support external SD cards up to 32 gig and up to 16 gig um, USB sticks. You have uh, the charging current information, how long um, it will play, uh, again, via Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth, and you can see that the uh, AUX versus Bluetooth is much higher than the Wi-Fi uh, because of just the overall data consumption. You can see that you do have, um, and I find this really interesting, that the internal battery is 20... Uh, to 2,000 milliamp hour batteries, um, and it really doesn't matter how large the unit is, they have the same capacity and um, are, have the same playback. So really, it's about form factor. Uh, so the dimensions are pretty reasonable, and again, uh, all in all, it's going to give you that multi-room audio experience. Now you have a couple choices when it comes to um, finding the app. You could use the QR code that is found inside of the um, user manual, or you could just type in August A link as I did. Uh, once you've done that, you go ahead and install the app, and as soon as you do the installation and you open it, it's going to start searching for speakers. Now the app is automatically going to go into search mode as soon as you open it up, and since I have both speakers on, um, the speakers are now ready. Um, all I'm going to do now is put in the password to my router, and then it will synchronize that with these devices. Now the setup process is pretty simple. Once you power it up, you're going to see the Wi-Fi uh, symbol come up. You'll press the WPS button and you're going to hear an audio prompt. It's going to tell you in plain English. It's going to say, waiting for a Wi-Fi connection or searching. On the app, on the phone, what you'll do is you'll connect uh, it to it. Uh, you'll go through a configuration process. It's just going to ask you, this is the current uh, Wi-Fi connection point that you're connected to. Tell me what the password is. And then it's going to uh, connect this speaker and the next one as you do them individually uh, to your network. So right now, both of these are connected. And you can see that we have the Wi-Fi. Now, when I go into the app, you'll notice here in the app that I have the speakers. All right, so I have them here, uh, both selected, uh, and they were installed installed automatically. Now, you can rename them, you can determine where they are, you can label them for um, easier configuration or as you're playing music. Now, as you look at your device list, um, this is going to give you a sense of the kind of uh, controls that you have. You obviously have the ability to reduce or increase the volume of the speakers, and you could do that for as many uh, devices that you have. But you also have the ability to adjust how the speaker behaves. So you'll notice that this says LR, which is stereo mode. I'm going to tap this and you'll probably hear where it says left channel. So now I can have one that's left and one that's right. right channel. It says now right channel. Stereo. And now it says it's stereo. So it is actually, uh, this speaker is the one that's um, making that noise it's, or it's communicating via the voice what channel uh, the speaker is set to. So you have the ability, let's say for example this was in a room uh, or on a bookshelf and you have one on each side, you can actually have one serving as a front I mean the right and the other one serving as the left or if you have them like I have them configured and they're in different rooms in your home as long as there's a Wi-Fi connection you're going to be able to stream to those and create an immersive surround surrounding experience when it comes to your music. Now these speakers can work in concert like we've been talking about but they also can work in uh, solo mode and everything is again voice prompted it's going to tell you how to do this or once you've made the change it's going to tell you what mode it is in. So if I press and hold this and right now they're right now in single mode. If I notice as I'm putting it right on top of it, it says release for multi-mode. If I go back up here, it's going to be single mode. So I'm going to put it right on top of this, and you're going to see what's going to happen. I'll let go. And now I'm going to get a confirmation coming from the speaker that the playback is in sync. So it's doing that synchronization. So now both of them are tied together. Uh, so again, a lot of flexibility. Now, the neat thing also is that even though they're in sync, you can't control which one is louder and which one is um, 
you know which one has a lower volume so even though they're in sync all you're doing is making sure that the music is going to come from uh, to both of those and play simultaneously and in sync but you can still control the volumes now your source of music can come from uh, several different channels you could use anything that's on your device but you can also get from iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, Tidal and I'm sure there's going to be many more that are going to be coming but you have that flexibility uh, to be able to uh, play music uh, stream it from any of these channels and it'll go directly into these speakers so let's do an audio test with some beats now taking a closer look at the app, I just wanted to show you um, some of the configuration settings that you can go through. So here obviously you have um, things that you can set up going into your, your music or some of the channels that are available. Uh, there will be more channels coming uh, through the app very soon. So if I go into settings, you'll notice here you have the ability to turn on which is a channel that you subscribe to and then turn off those that are not important. You also have the ability to configure the audio quality and you can determine what the quality is going to be based on your streaming ability. So I'm going to go with the super high quality, but you could also go with the high quality um, or low quality depending on your network performance. We'll leave it with the high quality. Now, uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, my music. So that's going to be whatever I have on the phone and then stream it from the phone, not through, uh, again, Bluetooth, because uh, you'll notice that Bluetooth is off, but doing everything through Wi-Fi. All right, now for this part of the audio test, um, I'm going to switch audio sources so you're going to hear uh, the recording a little bit differently. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be playing a lot of these tunes. Um, beats, uh, just so that you can get an overall uh, under, you know, experience as to how the audio is going to sound. Now I'm going to start them off with both speakers going at the same time, just so you can get a sense of what the combination of multiple speakers sounds like. So let's go ahead and try a beat. So these speakers are both playing at the very same time. And you can hear, um, and as we look at right here, you'll see that they're both playing. You can control one versus the other. So I can lower the volume. So that's both of them off. Change the channels. Left channel. Left channel. Right channel. So now each of them are in separate channels. Stereo. Right channel. And now they're stereo. both in stereo mode. All right, so let's go ahead and try uh, another song or another uh, set of beats that I like using to test. So let's go ahead and try this one. This will give you a sense of the kind of bass that you're going to get. So I'm going to go back to the control. So now this is the smaller speaker. Keep that up right here. And I'll uh, change the uh, volume. Bring in that other one. Now let's focus on this one only. Let's bring it up a little bit. That's how low it can be. Let's go now to the back one. So what I can do is pause all. So let's go ahead and switch uh, to another uh, song or some more beats that I have. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this next one. Now, this is the large one. Let's switch to the small one. It feels a little bit more um, robust, obviously, because of the size of the speaker. Let's go back to both of them at the same time. Let's go back to the top only. But well, actually, this is a small one. Now, this is the top one. So uh, what I noticed right off the bat is with the speakers both going at the same time and then switching back and forth is obviously because of the size. This is a 15 watt versus a 10 watt. This does sound, uh, it sounds really great. The difference though is that this one feels more robust, especially when it comes to bass. Although this one isn't that far behind, but there is a size difference when it comes to overall output. So now let's go ahead and try um, one other track and we'll switch again.
So now this is the larger one. You can feel how really cool and rich that is. That's both of them going at the same time. Now this is the smaller one. Let's go ahead and reduce the volume and bring it up slowly. I noticed that there's a small lag. Watch this. Well, not that bad. It definitely punches out as soon as you get it. I love when both of them are playing at the same time. So definitely, if you are considering uh, speakers like these, it is much more immersive when you have two going at the same time. You can definitely feel it in here in the room once you have them you know, going at the same time, just like that. And imagine, you know, putting one on one side like this. So again, very immersive experience, especially when you have two going. Really rich and powerful bass coming from this uh, larger one because of the size, but the small one is also doing a real decent job. So this concludes my review of the WS100 and the WS300 uh, multi-room Wi-Fi speaker system from August. If you have any comments or questions about this product, leave it in the comment area below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.